Hello and welcome and next I am planning to show you that how to repair and and fix these cars brake disc, disc better because there is issue that this car brakes this front brakes they generate noise when I press a little bit this brake pedal they yell there is like some squeaking small bad side side sound and and now I am planning to show you that how to uh, sand these brake discs that they are more better and more silent and then we continue and I take first this feel away okay and then it's good to when we have take this feel away it's good to move that that our brake disc and brake caliper so that we take first grip in here and then please use gloves because these are extremely dusty these brakes and they are full of poison dust and do not ever breathe or intake this sand or dust because these, these areas are very dangerous and do not ever insert in here any compressed air only you can use carefully if you have wet clean you can take carefully these sands away in that way because this is these brake pads they 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 include they their inside is this bad asbestos material and that's when we are taking those first these brake pads away we insert our hands in here and second in that part be carefully with this dust cover because if we move that then we can damage it and here is the script and I show also in that side that in that area grip and second in here in that area and then when I move we need to move that that disc in that kind of position because we need to open these two bolts in here one and two and we need then this 12 millimeter tool and then remember these bolts are quite tight and if we have so small tool we can't open this because we need more force and this rotation is in up and I have solution and I have so long I like one and a half weight long bar what is like 50 centimeters and then I have in here this my connector and here I have this 12 millimeter socket and then when I insert this my heavy duty if you have ever seen Ford heavy duty F 300 or 50 or 450 car I mean same heavy duty model and I have like heavy duty tool and this Ford F series heavy duty way I insert this my tool in here <coughs> and then then I take my con contact in here and I rotate and look in here and now these bolts opens always and it is easy this is like easy like coffee drinking or if you live in England like English tea drinking have a nice tea okay and this is but tools are the must and then I open the lower lower bolt in same way and be sure that you can clean also these bolts if they are full of sand because then it is much easier to open and now when these bolts are open I can rotate these bolts out using only my, my hand because these Toyota's bolts they open so easily because this bolts material it is so high quality and then I have this upper one and please insert these bolts in clean place and then then that one and and it, it's easy to rotate when we have 
nice socket only by finger and now there is second bolt free and if you have damaged that bolt please go to visit the Toyota dealership center spare part desk and info and you can purchase these new bolts and they cost something like one US dollar or euro per piece and they fit in here right away do not use any other bolts in here okay and then then there is this interesting thing that I need to take that caliper out and normally if I am lucky I could get that out so that I insert only my hands in here and then I rotate that in this way and please use close because this there are sharp points and, and in that way and I the second grip I add in here in that way do not ever move these cables they, they are really sensitive brake cables and no ABS sensor only these hard places in that way and now let's look what I can do and now I am planning to pull out that thing in that way and well because this is Toyota I managed to open that so easily and then I insert there is nice place in there where we can insert that caliper very carefully in there and it is nice place and then then, because I have had this issue that, that this my brakes makes small noise, it means that now I have to take all of these pads away and then I need to insert in here this lubrication. And in here I can see that there is no any lubrication and then I can see that this is aftermarket pad, brake pad. And it is bad thing. I always recommend to you and to myself to use Toyota's brake pads because they last maybe 10 times more than these aftermarket parts. Where, uh, where is normally this material is really hard. And this, this brake pad material must be soft. Okay, but this is hard. And they look good. But there is this, there is no any Toyota's comments in here because normally there is Toyota's logo and they look different these parts are not very old maybe one year but still they are almost in stock because this material is so hard that one this is steel in here okay and then then when we look that thing Next, what I need to then do is to take that, that brake caliber, this part away, that, that we can take this brake disc away. And next I, I open these bolts in here and soon we continue. Okay, and then when I am planning to take this brake caliber support frame out there is two bolts first one is in here and for that op that first one is in here and second one in here and for that job we need socket what size is 17 like 17 and it fits in here in that way in here and then in in here in upper one and please clean carefully those bolts and then it's easier to open and and these bolts are tight and that's we need again quite long this bar I have in here this uh, at least one weight and then this rotation direction is in that and note that now this disc must be in that kind of position that I can lift that up, that bolt, in that way. Now it opens. Because if, if this disc is in wrong position, in here I can't rotate this long 
long pool. And then, then I open also this upper one and I insert that in here. And then note that these bolts are quite difficult to open and that this socket socket is the best way to open and opening direction is that that we lift that up sorry and then it comes and then, and then, then I take it away and again and when these bolts are open I can take this smaller these friends and I can start to I can start to use that small friends and and there is situation that this upper bolt is quite difficult to reach reach and that it's good if you have this joint longer bar where I connect this bolt in that way then we can work in in here a little bit outer this is like hint and in that way that way I can I can open this this bolt in that way good and in same way when I open that there is this lower bolt in this lower, lower bolt come out I can I can use this normal normal way normal way of this opening because there is space in that. Okay. and when these bolts are loosened what happens actually quite soon then we can take this metallic cover out and in that way and soon we can see this bolt okay and here we have this bolt and it's look like that nice bolt and then there is this upper upper part what I need to in there and I insert the tool in there and here here I need this longer longer part and now I have to be carefully that I don't damage this this just because this is thin and now I keep my hand in here in that way but, uh, I keep my hand in here and then, then it's easy Okay. Now, okay. Now it drops. Okay, and here is this cover, and and in same time, same time also, when this cover went off, we can take this break disc away, and it's so easy. Okay, good. And then, then we go to look that closer, these parts. Okay, and then when we are inspecting these parts, there is first important to inspect these pads. And in this pads area there should be grease. And there is no non, non grease in these pads. And if there is no any grease, it's the specific grease, then they, these pads create bad noise, this yelling and 
and scratch sound. And this is same in this another side. And then when we look that that brake caliper holder, what was in that position, we need to first inspect that how are these support joints moving and they mo must move very smoothly. And if they are not, then we only pull out this this bolt in here in that way and we need to add in that part crease and then we insert that in back in here in that way. It is so easy. And then then we check that how these brake pads are working and they go in this uh, this joint and this holder places and there is idea to check that that are these pads moving nicely because because this is this should be move quite free and now there is quite little bit this friction and I need to insert in there this lubricant and the key in, is that these parts must move quite easily with this lubricant and if they are stuck then our brakes are stuck then I check that another side also how it works in here now it goes in there and then I insert that one in there and this part needs also this lubricant okay good good and it is in there okay and now now then I start to a little bit process these parts next time and then there is this break disc and in that disc area there is thing that both sides must be so clean and possible and now I can feel that in this upper area in here there is this rusty spot in that one and this spot generates sound and also this inner spot and I need to sand paper or use electric sander that I can take this all sands away and then when we look that that metallic plate it, it must be plain and if there is any holes in here this then these holes generate this noise and I can see that there is some small these lines in here and that means that I need to sand these things away and next next I start to sand this and then remember we have to handle both sides in our car, in this front area, this right side and left side. And if we, if we handle only one side, then we have good brakes in one area and second is bad. And that we need to take also those another parts in that handling. Okay, and then I continue when I take my tools. Okay, and first I am planning to sand that area. And I turn on this my tool and all areas in here I stand in that way. And it looks like that and look that difference. What is in there? And this is ready and then I continue in that area. I power on. Now this is clean and then this inner area too. Good. And then I sandpaper also these holes in this my break disc. That this is plain. Okay, good. And, and next I will sand all of these areas. But before of that, I like to show you that when we have this rusty uh, brake pads that how I use my Dremel with these and there is this my 
work page, I insert my brake pad in carefully in here. And now they are in press. And with this sanding paper I sand these areas carefully in that way. But they must be steel shiny. And only carefully. And please keep that in that position, not in this way, no. And when we sand, it is always in this way, and no ever in that way. Okay, and then this my sanding continues. And there was idea that to always keep that in that area, not ever in this way, no in that way. This is wrong if I sand in that way. No, always in strike in that position. Good. And now this area, this is okay. And let's look that closer what it looks like when we take a closer view. Because it's, we can see that now they are shiny. And please compare that old one, what is totally rusty. And in that way, when we clean this, and then we insert that lubricant next, then these parts, they are really silent, and they works well. And next I need to a sandpaper in this my Dremel multi-tool. Also in, there is this my starting point, all of these areas, and in here, and also in that second area, in here, that line and in that line with that machine and then when they these heels are away then this disc works really well okay and now i work that little bit and then of course remember this dremel generates bad dusty and sand and please use those 3m breath breathe these protectors that this bad sand don't go to our lung area. Okay, and then I continue and when these parts are ready, I insert this lubricant next. Okay, and now this my pa parts are, brake pads are almost ready and disc also. And then I use this Dremel, this sanding paper and I polish a little bit this edge. Okay, excellent. And now, now these pads should be should be quite okay. I have I have polished this in very nicely. In that way, all pads all pads are fine. And next step is to insert then this grease. And for this grease is we need this specific grease and. We can use the most common is this copper paste, what is in that kind of, of very useful brake lubricant, what is like brown, like copper. And now I use that copper paste in all of these head areas in here and also in that other side what goes in this brake caliber area, but not ever in this braking area and no ever in this disc area and then I press that and this is very common liquid what we can purchase in in any any car spare part shop and there is idea that when we insert that I need to insert that brown stuff in all areas in that way now this is ready and then I need to lubricate all of these all areas and also that that area in here and I will show that also how to do that and in good area and this copper copper paste all of this area what is this central area and this is very heat resistantly paste in that way look now this is ready no ever in that place in that area and it is so nice looking. And then I insert this my copper paste, all of this my 
brake pads, these areas and that nose and that nose and then they are ready. And soon we continue. Okay, and now I this is the final part. And there is this copper paste. And I insert the lubricant in here. And then this nose is nose area. Well and this other area. Okay, and then I okay, and this is fine and these were also well and then I like to show you that what looks like this uh, brake disc when I sand this look they are now very shiny I have taken away all of these heels and this upper rusty area in that area and also in inner and then when we rotate in here I have sand that all of these things in that area and outer area and then all I sand also these holes in here away that there is no any hole in this brake disc and now these discs are ready for installation and then we had this final step was that when we had this brake brake uh, pads holders that we need to check that these parts works well and that's we need to lo insert lubricant also in that areas in here I will do that next and I insert in also in here this in that way I insert this copper paste in this joint and in other side also all areas and also, also in here a little bit more copper paste and then when I have made that I can guarantee that this this uh, parts moves and then I like to show also that how to make lubrication in that steering bo steering bolt and in that area we can also insert this copper paste in that way a little bit in there and then lubricant all areas and it is easy to install in back I only press that in totally and now it's free so now there is nice lubrication okay good and then I test that how this uh, brake pass holder works then I install in in here this my brake pad and now I insert that in here first in here down and then I a little bit press that down that I can insert that upper area in that way and now when we check now there is excellent lubrication these parts moves like easily and that means that when we have so well this lubrication then we don't have any more any noise or stuck brakes because this moves so easily and then we need to only be carefully that we don't touch that area with greasy fingers okay and then next step is that we need to go to insert this back but before of that I need to go to insert this copper paste also in this brake caliber what is in this car and let's go to do that next okay and here we have this our brake caliber area and here we have this brake caliber in upper area and I take my copper paste and, and now I need to lubricate this area in here that area and also in that other contact point area in here and next I start this my job that I insert in here this copper paste this is the solution what works and there it comes and I first lubricate and this copper paste can also go to this rubber rubber gasket in here because this this is like only greasy high resistant high temperature resistant grease in that way and this now this area is fine and then I need to handle that other area also in here and I insert 
in there also this copper paste in that areas and and then when here we have this copper paste then there is no any corrosion and that's the point and now they are ready and we can check and they look good and then then we continue that my project okay and now when all parts are lubricant and ready for inst back installation I install first in her back this brake disc This disc comes in only in that way, in here, good, and then I think that I need to rotate that my brake disc in, in this installation position, because next I have this caliper, caliper here, what I install next in here. Okay, now I, I take this my caliper and this caliper became in here and when I press that brake disc in this position this, this part belongs in, in just in this way in that way good and then we look in here I need to take this my bolt and bolt came in here and then I I need to only add just a little bit that that is everything goes fine in that way I take also second bolt what I okay and what I insert in here and then it's good to do so that when we, when we insert these things in here that we check that these bolts are they start to rotate nicely now I am rotating, rotating this upper bolt and it's good to rotate all time this ho holder and then both little bit this upper one and lower one and then then suddenly they goes in there but do in that way and look where are those holes and then I continue that job okay and then I take my this friends and 17 millimeter tool and there is 17 and then I start to then I start to fasten and I start to fasten this bolt and now it moves in their inner It's fine, and then I take this upper bolt, what is in there, and this was difficult to rotate, and that's I take this longer, longer bar, what is in there, and then I take my tool, and I pass that. Good, and then fastening also down. And then I need to fasten this better, and for that job, I need longer and bigger tool than that one. But I can, I can use more force. And that's I have this longer tool. This one is first I fasten this upper one. 
upper one called okay in that way now it's faster and then this lower one and also okay. okay now now these bolts they are fastened please fasten these bolts well and then we continue okay and next step is to install these brake pads back in there and before of that if we can see that there is this copper paste in here we need to right away take this clean cotton cloth and we need to take this like take this away in here because this grease is is bad in this disc array okay then I I change this position that we can that we can install those brake pads and I take brake pads and here is this first one and it, it goes so that I insert first in this lower part that area in and and then then I when this is in here then I press down this brake pad in a little bit in that way and then it's easy to press in here a little bit down and now it's nicely in there and then this inner part in the same way it's in here and first this down area in here and then I press that little bit down and it, it then it goes nicely good and then I have this my brake caliber and it goes nicely that way and here is important thing there are those two bolts and this nuts in here these nuts their specific shape and look they must be in that kind of position that this strike area is in up in both areas and then this strike area goes in directly in that line in here in that line that when I rotate that in here it goes so and here is this when we look that area there is plane and then this part goes in their own one way and it happens that when I press that in here and then if this is difficult to install in here we can take our big tongs tongs and a little bit I need to compress this my my brake caliber cylinder back and big tongs and then big mount and then I insert that and only in that position in here look in this way and then I press and look how this goes inside now a little bit better position and this must be big this area and big tongs and then when I press it goes nicely in there deeper okay okay now it's in there and then be carefully that you don't hurt your fingers and then do not damage this, this rubber because it's important part and then I I use the caliper it this goes only one way and then check that these bolts in here they are in right right position because they must be in just just in the sides and they take actually a little bit contact in here and if, if it is difficult to install please check that these things are in nicely now they are and look in that area because now now these these things in here they are in in nicely in nice way in that way look and when they are in that kind of position 
we can take this bolt and we can insert this bolt in here and they runs nicely in there and then this second one also and it goes also nicely and then I need this 12 millimeter friends I fasten this in that way and in that upper one also and please fasten this bolt well using that 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 longer tool or then in Tokue friends it's about 20 newton meters this this force and, and and then I I check that this please check that bolt are fast and do okay and this is 20 newton meters and do not press too much I have now liked and small tool and it is easy to handle this force because if we pass this too much then these bolts can be broken and then we check that is this our caliper moving and it moves nicely excellent because this movement is must and then next part is to insert this wheel back in there okay and now everything is fine and final step is to install then feel back and then job is done and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you